क्वेश्चन नाइन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज इन फिगर सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री दैट यू सी बिलो डी इज अ पॉइंट ऑन साइड बी सी ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सच दैट बी डी बाय सी डी इज इक्वल टू ए बी बाय ए सी सो डी इज अ पॉइंट ऑन बी सी सच दैट बी डी बाय सी डी इज इक्वल टू ए बी बाय ए सी सो दिस बेसिकली मीन्स दैट ए डी डिवाइड्स बी सी इन द सेम रेशो as uh, ab is to ac so we have to prove that ad is the bisector of angle bac so if you think carefully this question is actually simply the converse of the angle bisector theorem the angle bisector theorem says that any angle bisector divides the opposite side in the ratio of the sides containing the angle now this problem statement is the converse of that in this problem statement we are given that the two ratios are equal the ratio in which bc is divided is the same as the ratio of the sides containing angle a and we have to prove that ad is the bisector of angle bac so we have to prove in this case the converse of the angle bisector theorem so i i am going to show you two different ways to solve this problem the first problem involves a construction similar to the one we did when we were proving the angle bisector theorem in an earlier question in this exercise and the second proof um, is uh, somewhat simpler so i'll show you what that is when we come to that so let me start with the first approach in which we are going to do a construction uh, on this figure so to do that construction i'm going to move this figure down here to make some space and we are going to do a construction that's somewhat similar to what we did for the angle bisector theorem so we are going to extend the side ba okay like this and now so in the angle bisector theorem problem we drew a parallel from c to the side to the segment da but in this case what we are going to do is we are going to take a point e on this extended ray such that ae and ac are equal so this is the construction uh, that we are going to do in this case so let me write this construction so we are extending so we have extended ba and we have taken a point e on the extended ray such that ae is equal to ac and also let's join c and e all right now we are given that um, bd by cd is equal to ab by ac this is given to us so bd by cd is equal to ab by ac that's given to us but because of a construction we also have ac equal to ae so what we can do is in this uh equ equality that we are given instead of ac we can write ae so that will give us bd by cd is equal to ab by ae so instead of ac i have written ae now i want you to observe the triangle bce carefully okay so triangle bce i am highlighting this triangle and in this triangle what does this equality mean this equality that bd by cd is equal to ab by ae so bd by cd equal to ab by ae well if these two ratios are equal this immediately tells us that this segment da must be parallel to ce and this is the converse of the basic proportionality theorem Uh, when you have a segment that divides two sides in the same ratio then that segment must be parallel to the third side okay so from this equality we can now conclude that in triangle bce da must be parallel to ce and this is because of the converse of the basic proportionality theorem now let's see what this uh, what da parallel to ce means for the various angles in the figures 
so let's mark the various angles so let's take this as angle 1 and let's take this as angle 2 remember that our goal is to show that AD is the bisector of uh, angle BAC so we basically have to show that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 okay now let's take this here as angle 3 and let's take this as angle 4 so we have just proven that DA is parallel to CE so what does this mean can you uh, figure out the various relations now between the angles if DA is parallel to CE well angle 1 must be equal to angle 4 this angle 1 must be equal to 4 because these are corresponding angles and angle 2 must be equal to angle 3 angle 2 here must be equal to angle 3 because these are alternate interior angles but what can you say about angle 3 and angle 4? Well, angle 3 and angle 4 are equal because of our construction AE equal to AC. So, if you have a triangle in which two sides are equal, then the angles opposite those sides will also be equal. So, if AE is equal to AC, then angle 3 and angle 4 will be equal. So, let's write this. Angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and this is because AE is equal to AC and therefore we can now conclude that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because angle 3 is angle 2 and angle 4 is angle 1 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 so angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 and this proves that AD bisects um, angle BAC AD is the angle bisector of angle BAC so this is what we had to proof so as an exercise i think one very helpful exercise for you could be to compare this proof with the proof of the angle bisector theorem and see how this is the uh, this is the converse of that proof okay so doing this comparison will really help you understand this proof better now i am going to show you a second proof of this same result so in the second proof, let's again start with the original state of uh, the figure that was given to us. And let's, so we have to show that AD is the bisector of angle BAC. So let's assume that the actual bisector is a line AE. Okay, so from A, let's draw this line, segment AE. And let's assume that this is the bisector of angle BAC. And then we will show that AE and AD are actually the same. So AD will become the angle bisector of angle BAC. So this is what we are going to do in our second approach. So as I said, we are going to assume that AE is the angle bisector of angle BAC. Okay, so this means, so now we can apply the angle bisector theorem for AE because we have assumed AE to be the angle um, bisector of angle A. So by the angle bisector theorem, we can say that AB by AC, the ratio of the sides containing the angle being bisected will be equal to BE, BE is this uh, length by CE. Okay, so let's write this. So we can, using the angle bisector theorem, we can say that AB by AC is equal to BE by CE. But we are also given that AB by AC is equal to BD by CD. Okay, so let's write this. We are given that AB by AC is equal to BD by CD. This is given. So what can you say from these two things? AB by AC is equal to BE by CE and AB by AC is also equal to BD by C, uh, CD. So this means that BE by CE must be equal to BD by CD. Alright, so basically D and E they divide BC in the same ratio. BE by CE is the same as BD by CD. Now using this, let's prove that E and D will be uh, exactly the same point. 
So let's add one on both side of this uh, equation. So we have BE by CE plus one equal to BD by CD plus one. So let's take the LCM. So we will get BE plus CE by CE on the left side and on the right side we have BD plus CD by CD. Alright, now what is BE plus CE? Look at the figure. BE plus CE is simply BC. And what is BD plus CD? BD plus CD is also equal to BC. So what we obtain now is BC by CE is equal to BC by CD. So we can cancel out the BC terms from both sides and this will give us CE equal to CD. Now when is this possible? How is this possible? CE equal to CD. This is only possible if AD is the same as AE. Otherwise CE can't be equal to CD. So we can conclude now that AD is the same as AE and we assume that AE is the angle bisector of angle BAC. So this means that AD is also AD is the same as AE means that AD is the angle bisector. So AD bisects angle BAC. So this is the uh, second, this is a second approach you can use to show the same thing that AD is the bisector of angle BAC. So the first approach required a construction similar to the one we used for the angle bisector theorem. And the second approach did not require a construction. The second approach uh, depended on using the angle bisector theorem. So both approaches are correct. On an exam you can choose either approach. Personally I prefer the first approach uh, because the construction in that approach is interesting but the second approach is as accurate as the first one. Okay so this completes question number 9. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.